Hello from uh, the nice balmy temperatures here in Montana. We're really excited to be here. We've had a tremendous trip, really good connections. Uh, probably our best practice of the year yesterday as we arrived after a 3 a.m. departure from home. Uh, really proud of this team. We've hung in there. We've played an unbelievable schedule. Our schedule right now ranks number one in our conference in terms of strength of schedule. It's 22nd in the country. We have lost to two SEC teams at home. Indiana State, a team that is currently 11-1, defending conference champions, seven seniors, lost to them twice, and a Mercer team at home uh, in double overtime, and a Mercer team who beat Alabama, who then beat Nebraska. Uh, we've played a tough schedule, and uh, there's no need for us to panic. There's time for us to continue to get better. This tournament provides us an opportunity to bond as a team, to take in the fresh air and the beautiful mountains here in Missoula, Montana, a tournament that I played in in 1982. Uh, Robin Selvig is a coach here at Montana, and I'm, I'm really hoping that we play well against Austin P in order to potentially play uh, Montana in the championship game on Saturday. It's a tournament feel. We're here um, to enjoy, but also obviously it's a business trip for us to get better defensively, get better offensively. We face a challenge with Austin P and a point guard very much like Precious Bridges from Mercer, who averages 22 uh, and a half a game. Uh, she's a scorer, a uh, very, very good player, uh, OVC, preseason first team all-conference player, a uh, girl that's putting up uh, you know, 25 attempts per game. Her name is Tisha, uh, Tiasha Gray, I believe that's how you pronounce her first name. Uh, she's number one, and she's number one on their team. A uh, very good player that we'll have to do an outstanding job on, a good post player inside and a really good shooter on the perimeter. So they have a big three that we've got to be able to contain, play great defense. They average 78 points per game with a 2-8 and eight record. It's impressive, and it's something that's daunting in front of us. It's a task that we're not afraid of, one that we hope that we can really impose our defense, rebound, control tempo in terms of getting down the floor and scoring early and often, reducing our turnovers, and actually playing as one. We've talked a lot about that. Defensively, you play as one. One helps the other. Offensively, we need to play more in sync offensively. We cannot have the start that we had um, in our last game. Um, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for us um, to rebound from that Indiana State game where we start, started one for 18 uh, from the floor and uh, just never could, could get over the hump in terms of overconfidence, although we tied the game late in the second half. I'm excited about this team. They're a joy to travel with. They're a joy to be with. As we now are finished with finals, all we have to worry about right now is basketball. Take a good feeling into the Christmas holiday break and uh, truly bring home some good news for the Billikens. I'm excited and uh, excited to go play Austin Peay.